Welcome back to the shop. Uh, it's good to see you again. Um, I've got a short video today. I, uh, a, a while ago I bought a little 3D printer, a uh, Creality printer, the cheapest I could find for idiots, people like me who don't know how to use them. And uh, here's a good example of what I can make with it. This is a, um, a lithium battery for a, a, a drill I bought for a, for a project that's uh, having difficulties. Uh, and I made this, uh, which is a battery clip. And uh, this is fine and dandy, except this is made from a material called PLA, which is a bit weak. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that I would trust the weight of this battery on this for any length of time. So uh, I'm going to make parts out of this. It's a carbon infused printer filament. So uh, the only trouble with this is uh, it's very tough on the nozzles so uh, I need to make a hardened nozzle which is why I made the other day a little sensitive drilling attachment so uh, let me explain further and we'll get into it and that is the wrong stuff but the printer came with a series of uh, accessories which is quite good a, a, a set of nippers which actually are quite sharp surprisingly and a, and a few tools and, and, uh, and spares and bits and pieces. And in the spares is a spare nozzle. Uh, so I'm going to use this as a reference to machine my own. The only thing that I might have a problem with here is looking in the end of this. Uh, I'll see if I can give you a close up. But looking in the end of this, it honestly looks like it's been um, reamed out with a tapered hole. And uh, that means making a a mandrel and I'm not entirely sure that that's something that I'm going to bother with. Um, the This is the material I'm going to make it from. This is a piece of, uh, this is a diameter 6 and uh, this is diameter 7. Um, drill rod as the Americans, uh, you Americans would call it or silver steel as we call it here in the UK. So what I'm going to do is just make, copy this, make another one, maybe another two uh, and just harden them and leaving them hard so hopefully the printer uh, filament won't wear out too quickly um, the new nozzles so um, the only problem is because I said it's uh, that looks that really does look like it's tapered in there um, it's really difficult to see um, I may find that uh, I'll have a, a sharp uh, what's the word? There'll, there'll be a, a sharp conical point at the end where where it goes down to the the point four millimeter hole. So uh, yeah, that might not be good, but we'll see. The only way is to try it and have a go, isn't it? So uh, let me get on and measure this, and uh, we'll take it from there. Really, after um, ten minutes of fiddling around, uh, the the hole in the middle is not tapered. It's just um, down to a to an end, and then it goes into the the final bit, which is the uh, uh, the point four. It's it's between point three five and point four mil, um, and it's really difficult to measure something that small for me, even with um, Eddie the optical comparator. Anyway, more to the point. Uh, I will give you a top shot of this, and if you want the dimensions for a Creality Ender three, I think it is version two nozzle then this is your baby
It's been a couple of weeks since I started to make these um, uh, little um, hardened nozzles for the, my Creality printer. Um, I haven't finished cutting the holes in the end because I've got a couple of boxes of these uh, micro drill bits and um, the only one that was the right size I broke. So, uh, and I'm not going to show you that because it's embarrassing. Anyway, uh, and I kept forgetting to order some new drills. So, here we go. There's a brand new box uh, that goes down to 0.3 of a mil, which is the size I need. I also, whilst I was at it, bought some of these. Uh, these are PCB drills. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to use these because I'm almost guaranteed to break them. But uh, I will... I'll give you a close-up of these. They are, they go from one millimeter to 0.1 millimeters. 0.1 millimeters, I reckon, is another way of saying 0.1 of a second before you break it. Before we uh, get started, I'll just, uh, this is a, this is a large twist, twist drill. I think it's about nine millimeters or so. Um, and uh, I'll just show you, with a standard grind on a, on a drill, you have, what's called the, uh, the chisel point. So right at the end there, it's flat. And uh, if you push this into a piece of work, that's why it wobbles around if it's not got a center drill. Um, and it will also produce a flat bottomed hole. So um, when you get down to these micro drill bits, I've found through many years of break of the blasted things, the best bet is to start with a larger drill and then leave, you'll leave a small flat bottomed hole and then put in a slightly smaller drill and then you go down in sizes rather than up. Um, it's, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but that's, I found the best way to get an absolutely concentric hole. Having said that, for this particular project with the, uh, with the printer nozzle, it doesn't matter. That might seem an odd thing to say, but uh, with a printer, with a 3D printer, as long as you don't change the nozzle midway through a print, it really doesn't matter. All, if, it, if, the, uh, if the extruder hole is slightly off center, all that will mean is that the, the print you're putting won't be exactly under the center line of the, um, uh, of the nozzle, it, uh, um, yeah, of the body of the nozzle, it, and it really doesn't matter. Only becomes an issue if you take that nozzle out and put another one in or take that nozzle out and then refit it uh, because you'll never get it perfectly lined up. So um, the net result is if you get a bit of wobble when you're making one of these, if you choose to, in all honesty it's cheaper to buy the bloody things. If you decide to make some, because it's fun to do that, and you get your hole off centre, doesn't matter. Anyway, let's have a go. Top quality spanner that. Worth every penny. What's the word? I just faced it off and re... there you go, you can see that the... I don't know if you can see that, I'll give you a really big close-up, I mean it's... Um, the hole's not in the middle and it really doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll try to do better with the others. Yeah, I'll definitely try to do better with the others. That's going to be a bit squiffy, that one. But this is the, uh, the one that... I went a bit heavy-handed with the mill. So there we go, there's three nozzles, all slightly different, but heck, who cares, with uh, an original brass one. So um, all that remains is to lose that one and harden these. So there we have it, 
uh, three nozzles. There's my finger there for a scale, um, all with 0.3 millimeter holes in them. That one's a bit manky, but hey, we'll give them a go. Um, once I've tried these out on the 3D printer, I'll let you know how I get on. Therefore, uh, they're hardened, so they're uh, for printing um, carbon impregnated um, filament. So thanks for watching. Do hit the subscribe button and uh, let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, take care. See you next time. The pussycat needs a fuss. Come on then. What do you need now, hey? I bet it's food, isn't it? One sparrow a day is not enough, is it?